Virgo, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for the month of July 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So, oh, straight up, that didn't want to go back in the pack, so we will begin. <laughs> Oh, awesome. You get number 11, Butterfly Spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Loving that. Yep, so starting off as the caterpillar, or even the, um, what do you call it before then? Not the cocoon. But um, right from the start, that transformation that you go through to come out as that beautiful butterfly so loving it it's a process same to get, come out on top there's a process to go through first so virgo moontology you get the full moon eclipse conclusions are within reach beautiful so yeah whatever those answers are that you're looking for there maybe um right at your fingertips or starting to come in now Hopefully, in a positive way, great answers for you, great um, conclusions, great endings, especially if you're going through a tough time, hopefully that is coming to its resolution, allows you to come out, butterfly spirit, pretty awesome. Right, Virgo. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we've got. July twenty twenty one. said that tough time that you may be having to come to a conclusion it's been a battle five of swords overall for the month okay so banging your head against a brick wall but whether you stay and fight for something or you walk away it's not worth fighting for anymore it's not serving you either way there's a victory coming out of that five of swords they may be that conclusions are within reach ending a battle that you've been going through Okay, present energies, nine of swords, it is reversed, so seeing an end to those sleepless nights, possibly bringing that conclusion in there, okay, cross with the knight of pentacles, slowest moving energy, slow process to bring those sleepless nights, that stress and anxiety to its ending, to its conclusion, but um, yeah, maybe now within reach. Okay, strength area, you've got the Queen of Cups reversed, not feeling very um, in control of emotions at this at this stage. It does take strength to get that upright. We do clarify each card, so um, try and get these energies upright. But it does take strength to turn this energy around right there. Okay, above you, Six of Pentacles, knowing it needs to stay balanced, okay, equal give and take. Always say if someone does all the giving and no taking, that means that somebody else is then doing all the taking and no giving back. So making that balance um, stand right there. Past energies, Five of Wands, you've been through some sort of conflict, disagreements, arguments in the past, maybe a lot of drama that had been happening in the past there. It comes into your incoming energy. I've been able to switch that around. Conclusions are within reach. Taking a different approach towards something or someone. Okay, ending that energy right there. Very upfront, very direct, blunt and honest, but it may be what's required right for um, that incoming energy right now. There. 
Okay, so what you need to know, the High Priestess reversed, okay? Yeah, yeah, upright, it's talking about letting your guard down a little bit, okay? And not wanting to be overwhelmed by things. Reversed, you need to know it's okay to let your guard down a little bit um, and not be overwhelmed by things. So that High Priestess energy there. How others see you as the tower reversed. They see you as not being able to release that energy from the past and um, in order to build a solid new foundation. So again, with clarifications, we will try and get those turned around. Hopes and fears. You've got the seven of swords and again, reversed. So um, fearful you're not able to leave some sort of deceptive energy behind. You, know, you may have had to go through this process to come out with this butterfly spirit. But um, you still, you've had that deceptive energy around you, but you're still feeling maybe tied to it, bringing in some fearful energy of not being able to let that go. That may be the battle that you're having overall for the month. But Virgo, you come out at the end, final outcome, Knight of Cups, upright, love on offer here. Whether you know it or not, you might be offering love to somebody. They may be coming in and offering love to you. But um, could be that conclusion that that's there might be love. <laughs> so Virgo, we'll see what the clarifications have. Love may conquer all in this case. But we'll do the clarifications, see what we've got for you. Right, so overall for the month, the battle, Five of Swords, the Tower, wow, there you go, Five of Swords, clarifying the Five of Swords, whoa, love it, the Sun, yeah, victory, the battle's over, beautiful, okay, the Tower, being able to release that energy, Start building that solid new foundation and everything starting. Sense of release and freedom from this battle. Could be an internal battle. It may be something that's going on around you, but um, coming out with that sun, brilliant. King of Swords reverse. No, sorry. Nine of Swords reversed for your present energy is the Two of Wands, King of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Okay dreams and goals not just going to land in front of your lap but there's movement that's needed to get this outcome of getting control of your emotions getting those sleepless nights to um, come to their conclusion as i do take two of that shuffle okay it could be an apology on the cards with the ace of wands whether it's due to be given or received but this brand new goal that you know you want to be heading towards and two of wands meaning yeah, you've got to keep moving towards it. It won't just land in front of you. That's a process with the Knight of Pentacles crossing there. We've got the Ten of Swords, Princess of Pentacles, Prince of Swords. Yeah, beautiful. That painful cycle coming to an end. Conclusions are within reach. That Ten finishes that cycle off. New offers coming in, maybe to make a successful go of things, but don't go rushing into things. Do think things through clearly and logically, um, but you are ready to take action now. But it is saying slow down, don't be too hasty about it. <laughs> Strength theory, you've got the Queen of Cups reversed. That turns it round straight up. Two of Cups, the Deceiver and the Fool. Wow, take strength, may take love to conquer this energy, um, negative energy, toxic energy that you're feeling bound and chained to. You may be ready to take a leap of faith when it comes to love. Okay, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but um, maybe an addiction of some sort, whether it's within somebody close to you, it may be negative, toxic energy that is just niggling away in the background constantly, non stop. But again, love may conquer all. You've got the two of cups there and you may be ready to take that leap of faith. So, wow, Virgo. 
Make sure it's balanced above you, Six of Pentacles, with the Four of Swords, Queen of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, looking after number one, doing some self-healing here. Transformation is beautiful and um, coming out with that stability, emotional happiness, stability there making sure things are within reach and coming out of this cold energy and moving forward now into warmer energy so love that so in the past energies virgo five of wands with the moon eight of swords and the queen of pentacles yeah could be dealing with the pisces in the past maybe um feeling like things had come to a stalemate situation but talks about when things are darker and grayer that moon does shine a clear path okay finding other ways around things to end this constant drama that's been happening in the past but you've got queen of pentacles success okay proud of your achievements and how far you've come there's that transformation coming out beautifully with that butterfly spirit queen of swords incoming energy with the ace of pentacles love it prince of pentacles eight of wands yeah brand new successful beginning here by taking that different approach towards something or someone okay very slow process though um, slow the communication down maybe because eight of wands is quite fast communication snap decisions that need to be made but you may need to actually try and slow that energy down um, to look at things clearly there just starting to rain okay so what you need to know the high priestess reversed with the four of pentacles the chariot and justice could be dealing with cancer or libra here but not wanting to let go of something or someone just yet okay but um may having to may needing to have to in order to get this chariot moving again and get some sort of fair outcome some sort of justice could be legal could be monetary maybe just good karma or good reward for the hard work you've put in but um you know to get that chariot moving that energy moving is something that may need to be released first how others see you the tower reversed not being able to release something or someone three of swords three of cups and the hanged one yeah they may see you're still hanging on to someone from the past that may have put you in a third party situation whether that's you know and caused a lot of heartache but um, whether that's around personal around love around work but there is something to celebrate here maybe you're celebrating being able to be cut free from that sense of limbo sitting on the fence celebration of being able to release that broken heart energy and build something solidly now so love that virgo hopes and fears seven of swords reversed you get the nine of wands king of swords and the high priestess yeah you've had to overcome all these hurdles and obstacles maybe that deceptive energy that you felt like you're not able to walk away from but you're now on solid ground you've got a clear path forward and you're able to now be very observant um, with that high priestess and the king of swords very logical level-headed using your head over your heart so brilliant clarification there and Virgo, you come out. Love may conquer all. Knight of Cups. <laughs> Four of Wands. Prince of Wands. Transition. Stability and commitment. Maybe a step up in commitment like a marriage proposal. Um, you know, it's all around the home. Maybe buying a home, permanent job, getting engaged. Maybe when it comes to love because we're clarifying that Prince of Cups. Okay, holding that vision with that Prince of Wands of where you're wanting to be, where that stability and commitment is leading to, and transition. Could be dealing with um, a Scorpio, but love that because that's now been able to release everything from the past that you don't want, that's not working for you, and ride forward into this brand new beginning. Um, so that transformation, beautiful. So Virgo, love it. We'll finish with the Star Temple Oracle. Ooh. 
So you get number 34, the visionary, awake. With an intuitive perspective, I see the bigger picture. Beautiful, loving that. That bigger picture may just be in quite a more positive way. So loving it. That's what I have for you for the month. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next week for the weeklies. See ya. Bye.